Second Auburn guard transfer portal video today. We just did one on Trey Donaldson, who is being crystal balled to Michigan right now. Uh, we're doing Aiden Holloway today. Aiden Holloway, in my opinion, the highest upside member of the Auburn backcourt and also the biggest disaster in the Auburn backcourt this last season. This is a McDonald's All-American five-star kid who really became unplayable at times. He averaged 7.3 points per game, 2.7 assists. He did have a really good assist turnover rate, like 2.7 assists is 0.9 turnovers. Pretty great for a freshman guard that plays the way Aiden Holloway plays. The problem was he couldn't hit a shot. He was 31% from the floor overall, just 30% from three on 4.9 attempts from three per game in just 20 minutes. So he was gunning. And a lot of these were tough shots that did not go in. You and I are fans of Aiden Holloway, like aesthetically. Like we, we're big fans of the way he plays because it's fun to watch. Uh, didn't exactly work out for Auburn, though. Do you still believe in Aiden Holloway? I do, um, only because I was just – I was so high on him in high school. I thought he was – I thought he was great, um, to be honest with you. I know he was undersized, a 6'1", 178, but he was a kid who was a shot maker and could create for others. And I had this vision in my head of like, oh, Aiden Holloway is going to come into Auburn and play – play like a Wendell Green-esque role. He's going to have the ball in his hands all the time. He's going to play 30 minutes a game. It's going to look good. He's going to be up and down the court. And it just never really, never really uh, played out like that. But you can't just ignore what, what he was coming into school, in my opinion. Like, I think that there is, you know, a good player there. Um, and, you know, he just – you know, it's funny because, in my opinion, like, he got off to a pretty good start in the season. Like, he had the season over against Baylor. I thought he played well in that game. He had 19 points with some really good guards on that floor. Had a good game at Notre Dame as well. Like, you know, he started off, you know, a lot better than I think his credit for. But then he kind of just hit a freshman wall, I guess, super, super early. His minutes diminished from then. Like, but – you know, if I'm a if I'm a team that's in need of a guard, I'm a thousand thousand percent calling Aiden Holloway. Like I think that he's going to end up. I'm trying to think uh, if you could think of like the last McDonald's All American level guard who didn't work out in their first year and then turned out to be a really good college basketball player after that. I I know there's probably options, but I can't think of one off the top of my head right now. You give me but like I a think hunter, that I, like a, like a Hunter Salas. Yeah, like, yeah, so, kind of like that more. I think that he's going to be a really good – I think Aiden Holloway is going to be a really good college basketball player. Okay. I hope so because I like watching him. The problem with Aiden Holloway is that when he wasn't playing well, he was so disastrous you couldn't play him at all. Like yeah. There, there's some guys where it's like, oh, he's not shooting well today, but he'll still guard, he'll still pass, He'll you can play him. Aiden Holloway had, like – seven different games from conference play on where his offensive rating was like in the twenties. Like, like he had uh, zero points on zero for five shooting and one assist in 15 minutes against Florida. Uh, zero points on zero for five shooting and zero assist to one turnover against Yale. Zero points. zero for three shooting 17 minutes against missed. Like he had, he had all these games where he just like did nothing at all. Um, and you're right. It, it was so far from what he was in the non-con where he started his career with four games and double figures in his first five, had the 24 point game against Indiana where he was great. He was five for eight from three in that game at 15 against USC. Like there were flashes of greatness early and then there was complete disaster the rest of the season. I mentioned this in the Trey Donaldson video. I don't know who to blame for all of this. I really don't. I have a hard time looking at that backcourt and saying it's all the players' faults. Like, I know the takeaway was, like, these dudes stink. I don't think they stink that bad. Like, I, I don't think Katie Johnson and Denver Jones and Aiden Holloway and Trey Donaldson collectively are that low on ability on a basketball court that they should uh, Katie Johnson might be. <laughs> well, Katie Johnson at least does things. Like... Yeah, he's, he's he's got a screw loose and <laughs> he does things that hurt you. I, I mean, two years ago he was a very helpful player on one of the best teams in the country. Like, so I I hear you, but like, if you're right that like KD was that bad, then to me it's like, hey, coach, eliminate one of them and play the other three more than 19 minutes a game. Like, 
I, I I don't know. Again, I alluded to it already, but Trey Donaldson and Aiden Holloway are both looking to leave Auburn. And we don't know whether it's Bruce Pearl being like, get the hell out of here, you stink, or whether these guys will look better. I tend to agree with you. Aiden Holloway will have a really good season somewhere, wherever he goes. Uh, I, I think that might apply to the other guys too. Like I, I think the fact that these four were essentially in a platoon system where they each knew they were only playing 19 minutes hurt all of them here. Um, now I still, I think there's real negatives to Aiden Holloway's game that maybe aren't there with some of the others. Like, I don't think he defends. Um, I, I think he takes really bad shots. I think often those shots don't go in the shot selection is crazy to me. And it's, it's weird because it's not like a Wendell Green thing where like, okay, he just embraces the end of shot clock thing. Aiden Holloway is simultaneously an incredible decision maker as a passer and a horrible decision maker as a shooter in a way that I've never really squared. Like I, I haven't seen many players be so clueless with the shots they take themselves and so brilliant with the shots they create for others. Like how, how do you square that? Uh I, you know what? When now that I'm looking more at it, I feel even better about Aiden Holloway being better. I just don't know if he really fit in Auburn's thing. Like Auburn was a top what, probably ten defensive team on Ken Palm, maybe even higher than that. Probably top five. Uh, they're a really good defensive team, and you know it's that's because of the style they play, but also like I think Pearl's platoon system is is put in place not because of talent, but maybe because of style of play and how they want to pressure and play defense. Uh, and honestly, probably how they pick up fouls at the same time because of how aggressive they are. But I just don't know. I, I just think it was really tough to get him on the floor because he wasn't able to, you know, be that good defensively. And for me, it was weird because what happened in college is that Aiden Holloway became one dimensional. Like he was, dubbed by the most by most recruiting services and people that watched him as the best shooter in high school basketball um and because and one of the reasons because that's because he actually did have like a surprisingly good like you know mid float game like he had that shot in his bag but he could not do it last year at the college level and when his shot wasn't falling then it was just like oh he really has nothing offensively um but may, i think maybe a change of senior all i know is that he does have a uh, – there is interest from a program that has had success making an undersized point guard who can't guard look pretty good. Who's that? Michigan. Who's the undersized point guard that couldn't guard that looked good? Doug. Oh. <laughs> I guess that's true. Uh, I wouldn't say Doug looked great very much at Michigan, but um... – Yes, there. St. John's game. <laughs> there, there are some connections here. Um, look, I again go watch the Trey Donaldson video. I, I talked about this there. I heard about Aiden Holloway's interest in Michigan a couple days ago, the same day that I heard about Trey Donaldson's interest. Right now, Trey Donaldson is being crystal balled to Michigan. Aiden Holloway is not being crystal balled to Michigan. I don't know what that means. I don't know if this is a thing where like these two are a package deal or they don't want to play together. I, I haven't heard that they don't like each other. I haven't heard that there's anything that would make friction happen there. Um, with that said, would be kind of strange if like those two together left for the same destination when they're both in theory point guard types. Um, I think Aiden Holloway needs to go somewhere where they give him the keys. I think he needs to go somewhere that views him as a starting point guard. And there there are just some players who you're not going to see what they're fully capable of if they're asked to play a role, if they're asked to be a fourth, fifth option. Uh, Aiden Holloway to me is like, we got to see what he's like as an engine. I do compare it to Hunter Salas and how he left Gonzaga, where he would always had to fit in and be a fifth option and instead went to Wake Forest where they're like, it's the Hunter Salas show. And he became a, an all-conference ACC player. I think Aiden needs to find a destination like that. I wouldn't mind it. Like as a fan, I I would like to see Aiden Holloway at Michigan. Uh, I would prefer Michigan prioritizes Aiden Holloway to Trey Donaldson. And I told people that earlier this week, not that I have any sway, but my instant reaction was like, you better be, <laughs> better be Aiden. I hope it's not Trey. Um, there are connections for those that don't know. His sister is signed to play for Michigan's women's team this year. 
their mom and their grandfather also played athletics at Michigan. So family ties here. Michigan was recruiting Aiden Holloway in high school before he ended up at Auburn. Uh, now, Cart, why do you think maybe he would have ended up at Auburn originally with all these Michigan ties out of high school? Maybe a little bit of that. Maybe, maybe a little of this. Little, uh, little, little donde las el bag. My expectation is that's going to play a heavy factor in where he ends up here. So this may be the first test of Dusty May's budgeting skills at Michigan. Uh, what I've been told is that. Dusty May does not have a shortage of funds available to him right now. Certainly more than Jawan Howard already had. You can break that down however you want to, but uh, I have a good feel here that Aiden Holloway's family is probably making some demands that might be a little unrealistic. It's my feel. So we'll see. We'll see if Dusty just wants to go all in. We'll see if he doesn't. I don't know how it fits with Trey Donaldson, who looks like he's going to commit. Um, if it's not Michigan, I have a secondary option here, Cart. What are you praying on? Just a just a very quick prayer that after all this year, if your backcourt ends up being Trey Donaldson and Aiden Holloway, that I can have my moment. But go ahead. That you can have your moment. What does that mean? I'm 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 victory lapping. Okay. I mean, you just said Trey Donald or uh, you you just said Aiden Holloway is going to go somewhere and be a star, and now you're going to victory lap that it won't happen. I'm a victory lap if it ends up going from John L. Davis and Liam McNeely to Trey Donaldson and Aiden Holloway, yes. I don't see how these two would have anything to do with Liam McNeely or John L. Davis. I think this would be uh, taking – You think – would all three of them play together? Or are you saying like Trey Donaldson is not coming in to start? Uh, I don't know if Trey Donaldson is coming to start. I believe that Dusty May will sign at least four guards in this cycle. Mm -hmm. So um, he wants to play three small guards in the starting lineup. That is what everyone's being told. John L. essentially functioned as a small forward, power forward for Florida Atlantic last year. So you got to see. I'm also worried. I don't think Danny Wolf is as much of a guarantee as everybody made it sound. So I think like right now it's it's Golden and a bunch of guards that they're after. Um mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't I don't think this would push John L. Davis out the door at all. Uh the other school that I would keep an eye on. How about Syracuse? Your thoughts? Hmm. Hide him defensively. Have the ball in his hand. No Judah Judah is Judah Mintz gone. Uh I think Judah Mintz might be back. He's acting like he might be back. JJ Starling is back. Why is that notable to Aiden Holloway? You ask? Well, they play together. Play together at Lalu. They did play together at Lalu. Huh. Yeah. I've heard Syracuse has reached out here. I think it actually would be a great fit for hiding him defensively. I think we've seen guards play well in Syracuse system. I think they have the bag. So I uh that that's where I would keep my eyes. If it's not Michigan, which my guess think, is honestly it's not Michigan, it's probably Syracuse. You think he fits offensively at Syracuse? Just like because do you you picture him being a guy who needs the ball in his hands a lot, right? I would like him at Syracuse if Judah Mintz leaves. I would not like him at Syracuse if Judah Mintz is there. Okay, that's what I – yeah, I feel like – or even one of those one of those two between Starling and Mintz would not have to be there. Yeah, I agree. Who would you rather I take Aiden Holloway. I take Aiden Holloway for what it's worth. Oh, I, mean, I thought you were going to victory lap me when I get him. So, interesting. That's not what I, that's not what I said. Huh. I said it would be funny if your backcourt ends up being Trey Donaldson and Aiden Holloway after watching a year of them stink and also given all the other targets that are out there. As long as but if you get them all, but if you, but if you get them all, it doesn't matter. As long as Denver Jones and Katie Johnson don't tag along, I'm perfectly okay with this. Uh, also, Car has your tan coach who rides his bike ever gone head to head with Bruce Pearl and said, "Give me those." How just, are you going head to head? How are you going just, head to head with Bruce Pearl? Just snapped his fingers and said, "I'll take your backcourt." Has that ever happened? Good lord, being Dusty May has got to be the best thing ever. Just, I'll take that. Hey, I'll take two of those. Thank you. Come again. I'm going to be so insufferable Dusty, this year. Dusty May. So, just, just make this very clear. Dusty May is awesome. 
at picking up the thing on the side of the curb that says free, fun to fix, free, broken, but fun to fix. Go ahead. Hey, that takes skill. Okay. He has <laughs> his warm hands, Cart. They feel great. Uh, good luck, Aiden Holloway, wherever you end up. Can I get a formal prediction from you? Where does he play next season? I think he goes to Michigan. I think he goes to Syracuse because Michigan will not dem- uh, will not meet what he wants financially. You think, you think it's a bad thing? Okay, well, if I'm Michigan, I'm taking whatever funds I was giving Trey Donaldson and just giving it all to Aiden Holloway and telling Trey Donaldson no. I don't think they're giving funds to Trey Donaldson. Oh, I think, gotcha. I, think uh, I think Dusty May, from everything I have heard, Dusty May knows what he's doing financially. And he is not going to overspend for a guy who shot 30% from the floor last season. Um, if he is going to overspend, he may overspend on John L. Davis. He may overspend on maybe a Liam McNeely, maybe some types that you actually believe have all conference upside. Not that Aiden Holloway doesn't, but uh, there there's certainly some negatives to avoid you from needing to pay top dollar for him right now. There's some schools that will shell it out. Michigan is not one of those schools unless they believe in your ability immediately. So I guess we'll see. I, I think it's Syracuse. I think that's where he ends up. We'll see. Okay. Good luck, Aiden Holloway. If you've been watching our videos this season, you know that we are presented by my bookie. Carter, tell the people about my bookie. My bookie is the official sports book of Sleepers Media. They have everything you need from expert predictions, write-ups. I mean, any 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 way you want to bet, my bookie makes it easy for you to play your way and get paid. And right now, Gregory, we have an instant deposit bonus up to $1,000. All you have to do is use promo code SLEEPERS. That's promo code SLEEPERS. Take advantage of this great offer today and everything that my bookie has to offer. Yeah, the NCAA tournament may be over. The madness, maybe it's put to bed for a little bit. But college basketball is still rocking. It's transfer portal season. NBA playoffs are coming soon. There's still a ton to bet on, and you should bet with us at MyBookie. The link is in the description of this video. Use promo code SLEEPERS.